Oh, we're gonna have some fun today. We are hunting a pond. I put both of my ice rippers in it last night and the generator died. I don't know when. I've never ran it with both of them on the same generator at the same time. So maybe that's why it died early, but it ran out of gas. It wasn't like it, it just died. So came here this morning and I had one little hole and another hole that was like a little bit bigger. So brought out the gas can, filled up the generator, got the ice rippers going where you guys can kind of maybe see. So yeah, you can see here's that one hole, there's the other one, and it's going to open up pretty much over to like this, kind of where you see that water. So it's opening up. Got the sleeper shells, got the HD honkers out. We brought out the kitchen sink for this one. I'm by myself uh, hunting a place that I absolutely love and uh, where I actually first started to get into hunting. So it's kind of cool to revisit these places. I don't know if we're going to see anything today. I haven't done any scouting. Showed up last night, put the ice rippers in and kind of hoping for the best. But if this doesn't work out, uh, we're going to get the scout on and see if we can find something to hunt this afternoon or if there's even geese in the area. But I got other plans of things to do while we're up here. And uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna buckle up here, make sure everything looks good, and maybe get to move some floaters out into more open water. And uh, we'll see if the geese fly today. It's about 10 degrees. Oh, there's swans. No geese. There's one, two, three, four. You guys, I, I wouldn't be able to show you, but there's about 10 swans flying. It's kind of cool. So we'll see what the geese do. There's a group flying straight at me here. See what they do. Well, this morning's goose hunt did not go very well. Um, <clears throat> had a decent hole open by the end of the morning, but all the birds got up off the roost and took the same line one after another. And, uh, it was like, I was like half a mile off. And so, I mean, I went into this without scouting or anything, just popped a hole in a pond and wanted to hunt it. <clears throat> so I know where the flight line of the birds are, but the problem is the birds have not come back to the roost from the feed and it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So my guess is those birds are either on a different loaf or they're still in the field and they're gonna feed all day. So. I'm going to change gears because I could go set up in a field on that flight line, but there's not even a chance because the birds would be coming to the roost from where they've been feeding all day. So we're going to change gears here and we're going to do some small game hunting. I don't do a whole lot of small game hunting videos, so might as well take advantage of this opportunity today. We got the 20 gauge. We're going to be shooting some of those Remington number sevens and uh, see if we can get a rabbit, a squirrel, maybe a quail. Who knows? We're gonna just go walk some brush and tree lines and see what we can find. Got a nice little draw here to work through. Maybe we'll bump a rabbit, hopefully a quail. I'd really like to shoot at least one quail. But, you know, one of these days, maybe next year, Cora is gonna be kind of getting to do some of this as well, which I think is gonna be a lot of fun. I wanna get her trained for upland stuff and Hopefully we can do that. We just want to solidify waterfowl first. probably didn't see anything because it was in such thick cover got me a cottontail I was kind of figuring I'd see one you know snow on the ground pushing through cover gotta find a rabbit at least like I've seen a lot of rabbit tracks so sweet we got a rabbit no quail yet no squirrels but hey we got one on the board so we'll throw this in the bag and keep walking yeah so I was uh I was just walking here I hear something rustle, like right around in here somewhere. 
and uh, I look, I wait. I think he was hiding out just in that little clump of grass right there. Bolted off into that thick stuff, got a shot. So that's pretty cool. Well, this is kind of fun. We uh, got one rabbit out there at the last spot. Just pulled up to the next one. And uh, I think this one, we might actually have a chance to find some squirrels, but no quail. I was surprised I didn't push any quail out. I mean, quail numbers are still pretty low, but um, over the summer out here, I heard a lot of quail. So I, I was just kind of thinking I might find at least one cubby somewhere. So we'll keep looking for those quail, but got a rabbit, had a chance at another rabbit. And uh, I'm guessing we're probably going to see an, an, at least one in, back in these trees here. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get after it. Okay. Off to the races again. Like I said, I'm shooting the uh, Remington uh, High Speed Steel number 7s. I really like them. I like them a lot. I shot them during dove season. Really liked them. I wanted something fast. So, you know, I, I can shoot lead, but I wanted steel because all season long I've been shooting high speed steel and I wanted something with that same velocity on a quail hunt. So that's the reasoning behind that. Let's push this cover and see what we see. Well, I don't think I could hunt my old tree stand anymore. Couldn't even get up to it. <laughs> Back when I was a I think a senior in high school, I built this stand. Had one one day, the first day I hunted this stand, I had a doe walk right under here and I, I botched it. I couldn't get a shot off, which sucks. But I don't know, I'm kind of thinking there might be some surprises back in here this spring and summer. We'll find out. I got some ideas rolling around. Don't want to give it all away yet, though. Rabbit number two, baby. It's kind of fun. They surprise you, come out of nowhere. And boom, rabbit number two for the day. He, I, I was afraid I almost lost him, but he stopped. A lot of times rabbits will go and then they'll stop and then sit really still, kind of trying to not be noticed. So nice, two rabbits on the day. I'm gonna keep, keep pushing this edge. I pushed that edge over there. So now I'm gonna kind of work, work my way through the woods over here and see if I can get another one. But man, I tell you what, it's a deer and rabbit highway back in there. I see tracks in the snow everywhere. So I'm, I'm gonna have to come back here in the spring and look for antlers. I mean, there's so many rubs, so many deer tracks. We'll probably find some sheds somewhere. I've, I found a 10 point deadhead over there one time and a uh, 
a couple like four point sheds so pretty fun stuff rabbit number two that's a lot of fun i'm warm getting some walking in so i heard something and uh you know when the geese aren't flying or cooperating I'm trying to make the most of it and this is fun i feel like sometimes i get so in the zone of waterfowl 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 content that i never do any of this other stuff that i actually truly enjoy i mean i enjoy waterfowl hunting a lot but this is a little bit more special i don't get to do this as much so two rabbits on the day let's keep walking all righty guys well here's today's haul <laughs> a little different than i woke up anticipating but hey i'll take it got a couple of rabbits in the bag couldn't quite figure out the geese that i i've been out here all day i watched the geese get off the roost and leave go to feed and they still haven't come back it's not quite sunset yet but it's getting close but that's the only goose activity i've seen all day so hopefully something can happen here within the next few days where i can get on some geese out here I'm really looking forward to it, but got a couple of rabbits, nice and tasty. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys on the next one.